Welcome back. What's up? To Snackcast. <laughs> oh, that was a nice twist. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome back. Um, last cast, we did um, potassium. Continuing on with the minerals. And today we got chloride. Another essential, 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 essential electrolyte. Yeah. These aren't Gatorade electrolytes. But as <laughs> complicated as potassium was. Oh, man. This one is like really straightforward. Right. It's, so let's talk about what it does first, right? It basically helps the body be inflated, if that makes sense. Like a balloon. Um, it prevents deflation. Um, so you think about arter- artery um, condition and skin condition and um, tissues and what have you, right? Well, why is that? Well, it turns out that chloride is almost like the sister to sodium, right? They go together. I think you were talking about, was it a magnesium? Magnesium. And, and potassium. It's, they are like the yin and the yang. Okay. That's so, it, and, and you know, it's like, how simple can this be? Positive right? and negative. So, so if you're hypo, I forget that the actual term hypo, this one, whatever, yes, low on chloride, right? Hypochloremia. Yeah. Okay. It's hypocalemia for for uh, anyway. I think it's hyponatremia for sodium. Yes, and they use they so, so you know they use the periodic table symbol. You hyper. In a, get out of here. So what do you think hyperkalemia comes from? Hyper calcium or potassium K kalemia. I never put that together. Learn something new every day. Yeah. Go for it. So what can cause um, low chloride, right? It's mainly fluid loss. Think vomiting. Think intensive sweating. Think diarrhea. Um... There was a, one of them was Addison's disease, adrenal, what was it called? Adrenal insufficiency can cause it. I'm not sure, really sure why. I don't know what Addison's disease is. Okay. I mean, obviously it's something with the adrenal glands. Well, uh, kidneys maintain your chloride is what I got. Okay. I didn't know that. So yeah, that whole adrenal system probably makes a ton of sense. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, the, again, causes of loss, diuretics right if you're taking um things to help your bowel move or what have you it can it can cause because you're basically forcing diarrhea or the like right so again it kind of all ties back to fluid loss Mm -hmm. um so what would you be worried about would become depressed and deflated right cardiovascular I'll run down the list. Cardiovascular. So we're talking everything from the heart, the veins, the arteries, etc. Right. Results in low blood pressure. Makes sense. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, Dysarrhythmias. Dysarrhythmias. So again, heart palpitations, that kind of thing. Respiratory function. If the lungs are not properly lubricated, maybe. I mean, is that the word to use? You know, voluminous. Um, but respiratory issues, neurological issues, depression. If the brain isn't, again, voluminous enough or inflated, it doesn't want to work right. And it can cause all types of mental fatigue, depression, um, muscle problems, and uh, gastrointestinal, right? So this thing affects everything, everything. right? God, man, it goes back to electrolytes in general. You got me started on thinking of chlorine for your pool and how you manage... How you manage the chlorine in your pool, right? And you test the pH. We test the pH levels of our pool, but not our body. <laughs> right. Right? And when your chlorine is too high, what do you got to do? Right. But when it's too you gotta, low, you're growing green stuff. Acid, green stuff. Right. That's... Ding, 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 ding. ding. (laughs) Positive, negative, yin and yang, mother and father. There's a common theme going on here. Right. I didn't, that's a pretty good analogy, the whole pool thing. So, I mean, like you said, too low, you're growing green. Yeah. Too high, you're burning stuff up. Yeah. 
Yeah, and what brings it down? Acid. So, all right. So how would you treat low chloride, right? And this is a trick question. Okay. Because what do we know about chloride? It's sister is salt. Okay. Sodium. Okay. Sodium and chloride together in ACL is salt. Sodium. Right. So you either get a sodium IV to treat low or you just eat a lot of salt. Right. Is that all kinds of salts? Just natural? We talked about sodium yesterday. The research bit. I did was just talking about NACL salt. So, so just I, I, salt, literally salt yeah. of the earth, the, the iodized. You don't need fancy sea salts from seaweed in the Cayman Islands. It, right. No, it's just NACL. And so it, it, it goes to make sense then that if you're low in chloride, you're low in sodium also. And vice versa. And like we were talking about, the same thing exists with potassium and magnesium. Those are those are two that go back and forth as well. If you're low on one, the other is out of whack. Yeah. So critical, critical for a, an enormous amount of bodily function, um, mental health, etc. But really easy to get. You know, it's everywhere. And you know, especially if you do have fluid loss issues, like. You know, liquidy stool or diarrhea or, you know, um, I'm sure bulimics have a hard time, you know, keeping enough chloride. Um, but if, if you do battle those things, it probably is good to be supplementing with. Now, here's the deal. I'm a big fan of salt. It is my I would rather I think I've said it before. I'd rather have a bag of jalapeno kettle chips than a cupcake all day long. Right. I'd rather get some mixed nuts. Um, I don't eat potato chips much because we know there's other bad things. But, oh, yeah, dude, a can of, like, deluxe mixed nuts. I don't want the peanuts. Right. I want all the other good nuts. I can literally, true story, I was bringing, I was buying the canisters this big um, and bringing them to work as my, like, kind of morning and afternoon snack. I went through Two canisters in five days. Nice. Equivalent of like 13,000 calories. And I was like, that's probably a little too much. You know, so I've been bringing homemade beef jerky lately. Nice. To cut down on the the sheer caloric intake. My gosh. Right. But salt, I love it. But you mentioned like the swelling of the legs and everything that people sometimes have, especially what, uh, what do they call that with, um, uh, uh, the, the heart issues where the valves aren't closing properly. Anyway, um, (laughs) congestive heart failure is, is, is where that normally occurs. But, um, one of the things that I, I heard was that potassium is it a sodium because the doctors always like let's reduce your sodium intake when you have fluid buildup and one of the other physicians that I pay attention to mentioned that might not be a sodium issue so much as it's a potassium issue that's a great point so all of these electrolytes they 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 all react with each other yeah I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know how many times we got to say it. Like the body is a perfect environment and you got to let it do its thing. It really is miraculous. The, the more you learn about what our body does in, uh, from immuno response to digestion to just. It goes back to the less you interfere with it, the better off it's going to be. Yep. Yeah, I agree. So that was a pretty straightforward um, chloride. Eat your salt. Yeah, you can you can you can be deficient in chloride. I got uh, diarrhea, vomiting, sweating, kidney problems, cancer treatments, and chemo can mm, that can be sense. a big one. Yeah. So makes a lot of sense. So you got anything else? Whew. No, man. We we we've done a lot this morning. All right. Yeah. So, questions, comments, concerns, hit us at snackcast at yes.fit. Stay moving. See ya. <laughs>